Hey Sunshine, welcome back to another video. Zara here dishing out all the quality content. Yes, yes, yes. If you're new to the channel, please click the subscribe button and join the Sunshine family. And with no further ado, let us get right into the video. So in today's video, I'm going to be answering, doing the truth or drink. I have a glass of drink here so this chicken is back guys that chicken is back it went on some sabbatical leave and now it's back for good so in today's video I'm going to be doing the never have I ever in a different way which is going to be a truth or drink I have my drink here as I showed you guys I just went on Google and I just googled some question for medical school and this particular site just pop up, popped up so I'm going to leave that um, the link in the description box just you know cutsy something like that I'm going to leave the link in the description box in case you guys want to play also so they're about they're very limited questions here so I'm just going to jump straight into it the first question here says Never have I learned about a rare disease in lecture and convinced myself that I or someone I knew had it. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Told someone I know that I wanted to go into surgery. Told someone I know that I wanted to go into surgery. I have. <laughs> I've told you guys. I've told you guys before. My first um rotation in school in medical school i vlogged about my first week one of my very oldest video you know very oldest video one of my very old video i'm going to leave it linked up here in case you guys want to check that out okay and also i've played a never have i ever before on my channel i'm still going to leave that also up here in case you want to check that out also after this video not now <laughs> So I've told you guys I was going for surgery. I was like, um, I'm about to go in for surgery right now. Like, I'm about to scrub it. Uh, it was so exciting, guys. I can't even lie. Um, the third one said, told someone I know I would rather settle for whatever specialty I get accepted into. No. We don't we don't settle in here. We're not settlers. We don't settle. We we have a goal and we get it. That's how we are. We're goal-driven individuals in here. We don't we don't settle. We don't settle. So no, I've not told anybody that we settle for anything. So the next question says self-diagnosed in every single lecture. Hmm. The key word here is every single lecture. So I'll say no. Not every single lecture. Some lectures I'm like, ah, can it be this thing? <laughs> But it's not like every single lecture so i'm not going to drink to that um number five falling asleep in class and be called out on it falling asleep in class and be called out on it have i have i i'm trying to think back i think i have but it's not like come out in front of the class i have like a lecturer told someone to wake me up because I was sleeping, so I have, yes, the answer is yes, so Cheers, please don't pour my laptop please. Cheers Moving on um, Chatted with friends on messenger during a lecture when I should have been paying attention Chatted during a lecture, I don't use my phone in class That's the honest truth If the lecture is boring, I'll just rather sleep than use my phone in class because it's rude it's rude sleeping is better <laughs> i mean but not use my phone in class or just stare at the lecturer or at the board because in one way or the other whatever he's saying is entering my ear you know when i'm reading it it's going to be like familiar to me okay so next question here says forgotten to eat because i was busy studying yes 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 Cheers to second MB days. Cheers to second MB days. Cheers. If you only eat, we just forget to do a lot of things. We just forget to bathe. We just forget to, you know, be a human being. 
just forget all those things. So we've not just eat. But yeah, chest to give things. Um where am I? Gone through a study section without snacks. Yeah. It's not every day you eat snacks. But I must say I'm a junkie when I'm studying. But it actually distracts you. I cannot even lie to you. It's very distracting. But I'm a junkie when I'm studying. Like a very serious one. Um being jealous of anyone and everyone who did not choose a career in medicine. Yup. Cheers. Been there, done that, said that, you know, all those dats. <laughs> Cause this this is just especially during second MB days. Like earliest time before I now find I to drop my phone and not be deceived by the Instagram. I used to go to Instagram and just see people living their life. Like people going out, people having fun, people just being happy. And I'm here suffering myself crying every day because of second MB. Even forget social media, let's talk real life now. You see people who are in your hostel who are going about their daily activities and nobody is bothered about second MB and because you want to be a medical student and as a medical student, you want to be a doctor and save life in the future, you are just stressed. This is all the stress I have to go through just because of this. So yeah, been there, done that. Um, number 10, told myself that I was quitting and dropping out of school. I told myself I was quitting. Um, every day in our life we quit. I tell myself I can't do this anymore. That is quitting. But not I've never I never had the thought of dropping out of school. I can't you know I can't say for a fact that I've thought of dropping out of school. I have never thought of dropping out of school. But quitting, we do that every day. After quitting, you sleep, you wake up. You get back to reality of life, my dear. Um, another one here says, so I have to drink to that, I guess. Another one here says, um, said I will just have one drink and then go back to studying. Said I will just have one drink and then go back to studying. I'll just have one drink and then. Like, being distracted. A hundred percent, guys. Like, all I need to do is just look back and see something. Let's say my bed is not arranged. That's distraction for me. Like I'm going to go and arrange my bed and come back. Ne maybe never come back to actually study until like maybe two hours later, three hours later the next day. So yeah, that has happened. Cheers to that. Um, eagerly volunteer to be an assistant in a cadaver lab. Well, we don't really do the professor does the dissecting and we watch. We actually do the dissecting as students. So, um, volunteer to be an assistant. I just I like cadaver. Um, so the next one says, thoroughly enjoyed cadaver lab. I I enjoyed cadaver lab in. <laughs> Say this now, I sound like a creep and like a weird person, a freak. Like, who enjoys cadaver? Who enjoys dissection? Well, I actually did. It was a very huge learning opportunity for me, and I did. I enjoyed cadaver lab. I'm not even going to lie about it. I enjoyed cadaver lab. I was dissecting. Any little opportunity I had to dissect, I would dissect because I enjoyed cadaver lab. That was. That was just it. Like I enjoyed it. So we're gonna we're gonna drink to that. Okay, cheers, people. Cheers. Mm. Next question: Being kicked out of rotation for not knowing an answer to the physician's question. Uh, I have not. Uh, I, do, I, anyway, I have just been on three um, three units in my rotation in medical school um cardiothoracic and neurology in surgery and nephrology in medicine so but in, i've never been kicked out for not knowing anything it is your right as a medical student to not know anything it's a learning opportunity my dear use the learning opportunity so don't be scared to answer questions because you might fail it my dear fail it and be corrected you never forget it again let them laugh at you you become better for it okay um the next one say make okay this is actually the last one okay that was very quick 
made conversation with a stranger and when they find out that I'm a medical student, they bring up the illness or symptoms that their aunt, dad, girlfriend, girlfriend's son has and ask for and ask for a diagnosis or medical advice. Um this is something that sorry. This is something that is it happens all okay forget like having a conversation and people know you're a medical student. People that you know would uh, just the fact that you're a medical student are uh, uh, doctors to be now you should know things. They will come to you with anything that is doing them disgusting, not disgusting over the line you know crazy not over the line they will come to you with anything and everything like they can just say oh i see this thing on my skin what do you think it is ah, i've been having this excessive back pain oh my head has been paining me continuously my dear go to the hospital if you think it's that serious go to the hospital don't come and be asking me don't come and disgrace me don't allow my village people to win don't allow my village people to shine my dear i don't know anything i'm still learning my dear please until they give my certificate before anybody come and meet me and say oh i have this thing i have that thing here please i'm still we're still we're still learning a a lot of things and we some things some symptoms we cannot even yet narrate down ourselves some things some symptoms are just like clear cut this is what's happening to you clear cut but there are some things that, that are just vast for example you tell me you have a headache it's vast or you tell me that you have cough is you have the you, you can it's vast what i'm trying to say is that some symptoms you cannot just say oh this is it clear cut you have to go for testing you have to go for this so don't come to me and pressurize me that this thing is very silent pressure like if you don't know for example if they come to you with something that you've probably been taught and cannot remember and you're like hey will i make it in this life i don't know anything it's subtle pressure that people don't know that they are putting on you when they come and ask you oh i'm having this nail do you see this boil here do you see this goat here what do you think it is it is cancer <laughs> leave me alone stop asking me i don't like don't it is a little bit of pressure because when you ask me these things and i it's like should i tell you that i don't know or just tell you something so you're going to leave me alone that's that's just what i feel so yeah i have been asked so have been have been have been i have been asked so i'm going to drink to that so as i was saying it's very subtle pressure that people put on you without even knowing that they are putting it on you yeah guys so those were the only questions that i saw so this is the end of the video if you enjoyed this video please click the subscribe button give the video a like also if there is any video you want to see from me now whatever video it is tell me and i'm going to film it for you okay this is the end of the video and i'm going to see you guys in my next one i love you as always bye